What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. I wanted to warn you about this microphone and this adapter. All right, guys, so I bought this Rode Video Micro Boom microphone, and I also bought this Rode adapter for microphones to fit into iOS devices because I use my iPhone to shoot a lot of video, and I was really excited about this because I thought, hey, I'm going to improve the audio quality of the videos I shoot here instead of just using the standard built-in microphone. So this little thing is pretty cool looking. I was pretty excited about it. Comes with this uh, little plug here, and I can't remember, I think it's TRS. And here is this adapter, Rode, adapter that goes to an iOS port here and a couple microphone inputs and monitoring. And I was pretty excited about that. Now the problem here is this TRS, I think needs to be adapted to TRRS, for this adapter. So you've got this, going to this, going to this, going to this, going to your device. Now I say that because I tried actually using this directly into this adapter and into my iPhone and nothing would work. I also tried, picked up this TRS to RRS adapter and I used that here and I tried it on my iPhone and nothing works. Now, I'm really disappointed in this because this was actually a fairly expensive uh, shotgun mic. You know, it's a little more expensive than some of the others, like 60 bucks or something. But this little adapter here was like $80. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna spare no expense. Improve my audio quality for your sake and just have a little rig here that's probably not the most convenient thing to set up uh, as opposed to buying like a $200 microphone or $300 microphone. But I tell you what, I could never get this to work. I wanted to show you what the audio was like using the built-in microphone versus a uh, shotgun microphone like this, but nothing works. So I don't know what the problem is. It's actually not the microphone. So I actually plug this into my computer directly, which will accept this type of plug. And I was able to record some audio. And so that worked and the audio was fine-ish. It's certainly not as good as a standalone podcasting microphone. So I'm not sure if it's this adapter or what, but um, for $80, man, I expect it to be good. Now, I did buy it and I'm sure that Rode would stand by it. It's new and uh, apparently under warranty and I may reach out to them on it, but I just don't know if there's some iOS problem or anything, but you really expect when you pay this kind of money that everything is going to be plug and play. So I'm not gonna spend a lot more time troubleshooting this. I have probably a few hours into it already, uh, even going on to the support groups and the, the forums to kind of see if anyone is else also is having this problem. And there are some people on YouTube that seem to swear by the setup. So I don't know if other people are having it, but I'm telling you, if you're gonna buy this microphone, uh, this is probably gonna work. And if you have another shotgun mic that you're replacing, um, I think it's as good or as better, as good or maybe better than any of the other ones. But it's this adapter that worries me. And like I said, for $80, I think the um, standard headphone adapter that comes from Apple for like 25 bucks is probably the best way to go. Really disappointed. Wanted to throw that out there though. My first experience with Rode products and I can say that I probably won't be buying any other ones here anytime soon. That's it. Peter Von Panda. Out.